Commander Knob can be a pain for Eldar, as he does an insane amount of range damage. And can basically gib most of their units from extreme range. But, in the northeast, playing as the Blue Warlock, it is Blood Rain. Champion of the most recent tournament. Hell of a player. Hailing from Mother Russia. Lovely guy. Can't say enough about him. Blood Rain's a great guy. And in the set, playing as the Red Commando Knob, it is Guru Skippy. Kind of uh, someone I've watch quite a bit of as I uh, try to get better as I am mostly an orc player myself. Him, piano, torpid. It's always good to watch a couple of really good players play orcs. We see very standard stuff. Double shooter build out of Guru Skippy. We have Banshees into Guardians. Hit my balls. Chris, Chris, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, are you playing in this tournament? I, I thought I saw you on the sign-up sheet. If so, hopefully catch one of your games a bit later. Anyway. Destructor coming in. Doing decent damage to the shooter boys. And the Guardians are able to kill one of the boys on the way. But this is a lot of Daka. And here come the Sluggers moving in with their choppers. Whilst the Commando Knob moving unseen in the back lines. With the flank. Forces off the Eldar into a retreat. All for the price of one shooter boy. And as we all know, orcs are nothing if not expendable. So, weird thing about orcs with an, in retrospect to in respect to another faction such as the Eldar is most of their units you stick with in tier one, they just get better as they upgrade. So we'll see big shooters coming in for the shooter boys. We'll see the slugger boy knob in tier 2. We could see shooter knobs, though those have fallen out of favor in the most recent patches. They were uh, increased in their cost and decreased in their efficacy. The commando knob sneaking around, being a pain in the ass, as we like to see. Moving in, he's going to headbutt some guardians to death, surely. A punch, a slap, there we go. Meanwhile, where are the banshees? The banshees are off capping. The warlock did force the retreat from some shooter boys. Commander Knob moving in again, headbutting Guardians, but he does not want to headbutt Banshees very much. Stun Grenade to dissuade the advance of the Banshees, and seeing now the first Guardian weapon team, Commander Knob will get the hell out of Dodge. We have big shooters coming in now for both the Shooter Boys, and we have the Burners up for the Slugger Boys. <coughs> the big shooters increase the damage of the Shooter Boy squad tremendously. They also give them the Aiming What's That ability, which enables the Shooter Boys to lay down a withering hail of suppressive fire. They don't hit anything, which isn't necessarily unusual for Orcs. And Rangers up next for Blood Rain. Rangers to detect the Commando Knob. So we can't keep sneaking around. Look at the damage this Commander Knob does to those Banshees. Just guns one of them down instantly. Now aiming what stats to suppress the Banshees. Well, the second the Shooter Boy squad supports. Will the Banshees lose another model here? They do. They lose two models trying to get in. But the Warlock chops up a Shooter Boy. What, where's, oh, they, those two had formed one life form. That's why I was like, there are only three models here. The... Sluggers get into contact with some guardians and manage to chop one of the uh, pointy eight gates up. Let's see what happens here. Commander Knob sneaking around, creeping up on the uh, on the guardian weapon team. Here it comes. Slap. Where's the headbutts? Meanwhile, there's rangers on the field sniping at orcs. Guardian weapon team loses one of its crewmates, but. That's not enough to prevent it from setting up. Another Destructor. The Warlock has done great work with these Destructors so far. Early victory point lead for the Warlock. Guru Skippy not buying a fourth squad. What's he uh, spending his money on? Well, I suppose he spent a lot on... On his upgrades. And he's got two Shooter Boy Knobs. That's where all of his resources have gone. So you need Shooter Boy Knobs to detect the Rangers... Both squads now have their knob leader, which increases their durability and their damage, and gives them the ability to see the sneaky Eldar Rangers. Moving in now to try and alleviate the victory point pressure. 
But massively outnumbered are the orcs by the Eldar. Which is a strange situation, to say the least. Commander now taking a tremendous amount of damage on the entrance here. Double Guardians and the Banshees moving into the power. The Guardian weapon team is able to suppress the Sluggers just before they get into melee range. The aiming watch stat does suppress the Guardian weapon team in return. Will the Sluggers be able to wipe this squad? It's close. Sluggers are really dangerous on the chase. Not quite. Not quite. So it looks like we're going to have uh, mutual power bashing here. Both players unable to defend their power. The burners of the Orcs will do significantly faster bashing than the... Uh, Shuriken Catapult and Power Swords of the Howling Banshees, but at the end of the day, with no defense, both teams are going to be powerless. This probably works in the favor of Guru Skippy, who is closer to Tier 2, just generally. Commando Knob throwing a stun grenade wildly off target against the Howling Banshees, who suppress him with their war shouts and chop him up a bit. It is the aspect of strength for the Banshees. This increases their maximum health, and uh, in, when they get their executioner weapon, can get a heavy melee spear. Hide the boys, a global ability of the commando knob. Sneak in about with the slugger boys, and they manage to get in swiftly onto the elder. Are we looking for a foot grenade? We are going for double foot grenade. Neatly dodged by Guru Skippy, however. And the Banshees, a good special there, probably saves the squad. They're not on retreat, however. Oh god, the slugger boys! Just managing to get out of there. That special definitely saved that squad of Banshees, sending the three Slugger Boys flying. The Slugger Boys took tremendous damage from the Guardians also, which meant they couldn't chase. Warlock forced off, does get his leap into combat, even though retreat was pressed. So we will see a small tech advantage here for um, Guru Skippy. He's gone up to tier 2 already. This is just a matter of uh, not spending as much power on units. Blood Rain has built up his second power farm here, as has Guru Skippy, having lost their primary power farm. Shuriken Weapon Platform dissuading the advance of Shooter Boys, but not able to get the suppression. Will we see another Hide the Boys to get the uh, Sluggers into contact here? It won't work, because there are Rangers present. He sees the Rangers, not going to try. Rangers being forced off the field by Shooter Boys, however. So now... An infiltration play could be more successful. Uh, sluggers don't want anything to do with that. Just get out of there. Too much, too much Eldar stuff. Commando Knob. Hiding. Revealing himself to shoot. But whilst you are in infiltration. Even if you're partially revealed. You still get a slight damage reduction. It's about 20% I believe. Not, not massive. But not negligible either. Where are the sluggers? Slugger boy knob on the way and the truck coming out. So these slugger boys are going to become exceedingly dangerous very quickly here. The knob is a crazy lad. He's a big beefy orc who keeps the rest of the boys in line and he has a power melee chopper. It gives him the swampum ability which reduces the range damage they take and increases their movement speed. Sluggers probably don't want any of this, honestly. It's too much stuff. They, their knob just came in. The truck's on the way. Don't take too much damage. Hide the boys used to uh, cover their retreat. They can get into the truck now. And with a scream of wog, in they come. The truck will run over the... Uh, and it's a, Yeah, Blood Rain's like, no, we don't want this. The truck can overtake. Drop Slugger Boys off to try and get some models in retreat, or we can just go power bashing, and that's what we're doing. The Burners dropped off from the truck, going for some power harassment. Meanwhile, the Warlock is being shot off by the Shooter Boys, and we have Tank Busters coming out. Tank Busters blind without seeing a uh, vehicle. Kind of interesting, as it is a Warp Spider choice from uh, Blood Rain instead of a Falcon, so these Tank Busters are not going to achieve anything. Um, generally... You could, I suppose you could still use them as disruption with their barrage ability, but they're not countering a vehicle just yet. They do dissuade Blood Rain from going for a vehicle, so there is advantage in that sense. Hi, Piano. 
How are you doing, sir? What have we got? Have we got more slugger busters? Yeah, and now truck busters? Nope, we're not putting the busters in the truck. Sluggers disembark. Probably a bit too early, actually. They're going to get suppressed. going to take a lot of damage here. Uh, this uh, is a scary position for the slugger boys. Banshee's moving in onto the... Uh, Onto the truck, there was a haywire grenade death cast from the warp spiders. Banshee's taking a lot of damage, but not dropping a model just yet. The sluggers got out of the truck way too soon, and were immediately suppressed. Shooters taking big damage, and this is one engagement from the Elder. Truck took a lot of damage. Sluggers lost a couple models. Shooter boys lost a couple models. And the tank busters weren't able to disrupt the uh, Guardian weapon team in time. What's going on? And we'll see another power bash here coming in. Don't think your Skippy's going to be able to uh, defend this easily. Uh, the rangers have detected the commando now. He takes a huge amount of damage from the double guardians and the warp spiders who have their aspect up. And it'll be a powerless game once more. Again, slightly favoring Skippy because he has the power to go up to tier 3 if he wishes. However, his army is inferior to that of the Eldar at the moment. He needs a perfect engagement to win. Shooter boys are off capping power. We have a webway gate on the southeastern side of the map. This will enable the Eldar to be quite maneuverable. We have the entire Orc army actually in this truck. They hop out, get a decent flank on before the uh, Guardian weapon team can set up. And it's a second squad of warp spiders coming out for Blood Rain. What's Guru Skippy buying? Guru Skippy has bought the better combat kit, which makes his. Uh, Knob considerably tanky. <coughs> this blob of Eldar could be easily disrupted by a tank buster barrage, but the tank busters are busy uh, capping. Oh, that was an aggressive blink in. Oh my days, those warp spiders are very manly. Slugger boys in position to counter engage the banshees. Banshees don't want any of that. Get out of there, lads. A grenade, not able to connect. But. The sluggers now being drawn back into the firing arc of the weapon team will be suppressed here shortly. Jumping into the truck for safety. A haywire grenade from the warp spiders and the sluggers getting onto the banshees in retreat, dropping a couple of the ladies. Slugger boys now chasing off the guardian weapon team. Look at the damage from that slugger boy knob. You saw that took, took like 50% of the health of the guardian weapon team. The uh, lead model, the Shuriken ca uh, Cannon platform, is actually heavy infantry, so the power melee damage of the Slugger Boy knob does significant burst damage to that. This webway portal has been discovered. Guru Skippy on the way up to tier 3. No resources at all for Blood Rain. Map control firmly in the favor of the Orcs right now. The Eldar player Blood Rain has to make uh, some kind of push here into the shooter boys, into the slugger boys. Where are the tank busters? Recovering in base, they're coming back out with only two models on the field. Warp spiders teleporting aggressively forwards, trying to force the tank busters out. Haywire grenade onto the truck to slow it down. But without dedicated anti-vehicle, there's nothing they can really do to uh, capitalize on this. Is there gonna be a second haywire grenade? There is, it does not get onto rear armor, so the truck will survive. The slugger boys hopping out, might wipe the warp spiders. They do wipe the warp spiders. But they have to get back into the truck. This is horrible. The uh, Slugger Boys, did they get in? Or did they wipe? They got in. Wow, that was close. Game of inches here from Guru Skippy playing very, very sweaty right now. Good grief. Retreat grenade should be good. Catches onto the Slugger Boys. There's not enough damage to kill them though. It hit mostly onto the Shooter Boy knob. And the Slugger Boys managing to reinforce from their uh, from their truck. They did lose their knob, however. He died in the engagement. The Shooter, bo the shooter Boy knob is a die last model. The Slugger Boy and Storm Boy knob is not. We have commandos called in. These guys love the Dacker. 
<coughs> sneaky orcs with a whole bunch of ranged jacker and there it goes knocking them down but this is a bad fight for the commandos they are suppressed they're taking tremendous damage not able to uh, see off the Eldar in this situation Blood Rain stuck in tier 2 not really not really an, an easy option for getting out either the orc army is tremendous slugger boys waiting to be able to reinforce and buy their knob again soon we'll have enough re resources to do so then they'll jump in the truck Prob will the commanders jump in with them no warlock seeing off the orc range blob does some good damage to the tank busters who haven't been reinforced beyond their two models don't need to be you only need one or two models to uh to cast the blast and there's no vehicle threat on the field which would means you would need the dps from the other two models good play from skippy just to save those resources we have sluggers in the truck looking for power to bash but there is no power to bash the entire Eldar war host is on the northwestern side of the map now. Seeing off the commando knob, this is a level 4 commando knob. He's a very tanky boy. Here comes the slugger squad in the truck from behind. Oh no, all the humanity. This is a really awkward position for them to disembark from. They've actually got stuck and can't move. So uh, Skippy, recognizing this, jumps back into the truck, gets out of there. Haywire grenade will slow him down, but the commandos are here to support. Heavy melee from the executional, uh, it's uh, two separate warp spider squads, Bucket Hero. Oh god! This is, uh, certainly death for the slugger boys and the truck. What a disaster. What a disaster here for, uh, Guru Skippy. This might be the turn the Blood Rain needed. The Orc army is very, very short on manpower now, and without the slugger boys to see off the banshees... A Banshee Engage will uh, do tremendous damage to the Orcs. Let's see if we can get a Tank Buster Barrage onto the Guardian Weapon Team. We can. It will disrupt it enough. Where are the Commandos? Commandos are back in base and we have a Knob Squad on the way. Shooter Boys getting shredded. Commando Knob getting shredded. Commando squad getting out of there, knocking back the Banshees. Uh, I just seen the message in chat from Piano saying it's pretty over. I, I wait forward and, and I look forward to uh, seeing what he has to say in two minutes time when he catches up. The knob squad is on the field. These lads, very large, very, very tanky orcs. Basically, uh, they beat just about anything in melee combat with the exception of Lightning Claw Terminators and uh, Paladins. They have their meaner and greener upgrade. Usually the first one you get, then you usually get the knob leader. And then you usually get their bang bang hammers. So meaner and greener in. Banshees can't tangle this. Suppressed now by the uh, Guardian Weapon Platform. Where are the Tank Busters? The Tank Busters are not in position. But the Frenzy is popped to break the suppression. They're getting onto the Guardian Weapon Team. Oh, specials by the Banshees. Saving the lives of their compatriots there. But now the Banshees have to get out. This isn't a fight they can win. The Knobs will ruin them. And the Warp Spiders... Oh, God, the Knobs. Christ almighty. Just utterly crumping gits. Left and right. You love to see it. Oh, Guardians, you're very brave. Um, that was weird. The grenade an uh, animation went off, the grenade energy was used, and the grenade voice line was played, and then about a second and a half later, an Eldara turned to throw a grenade.
Very strange. Yeah. Ah, but that's a. As Piano rightly says, the Eldar economy is completely bled out. There's nothing left. This is just going to be a... Even with losing the truck, even with losing the sluggers, they'd done what they needed to do. They'd secured the mid-game. The knobs getting messed up, actually, by the Banshees and the... Uh, well, by basically the entire Eldar army. But they're still tanky enough to see it off. Boldly going where no orc has gone before. And reinforcing with Calder Boys. That's an excellent use of Calder Boys there. And GG is called. Alright. 1 0 to Skippy. Let's uh, see what the rest of the series has. Level 5 Commando Knob. Very bloody match. Corn would have been pleased.